Okay, let's get this started. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we have a luxury unboxing. I know it's been a while since I've actually bought something. I tend to go on these like shopping sprees and buy everything I want at once. And then I kind of cool down and decide to be a responsible shopper. And then I tend to pick right back up. So this is actually a birthday gift that I thought I would share with you guys and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Rocky. And in this channel, we do luxury unboxings, luxury reviews, and cover topics that are currently trending in the luxury community. If any of that seems interesting to you, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Give a thumbs up to the videos that you enjoy and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. All of this really helps the channel grow and allows me to know that you are enjoying the content that I'm putting out there and encourages me to make more videos. So let's get right into the unboxing. So today's luxury unboxing is from none other than one of my favorite fashion houses, Louis Vuitton, right? This is a small luxury unboxing, but I thought it'd be a fun one to film because it was unbelievably hard to get. Um, once I open it and I, you know, build up the anticipation, uh, I kind of want to give a little story time. I hunted this baby down for months. I mean, I knew that this was coming. This is actually a gift and I knew that they really wanted it. So I've been trying to hunt it down for almost two to three months now. I've went to the website. I've called client services. We have three Louis Vuittons here in the Chicagoland area and every single one of them was sold out. Uh, I happened to luck out one day when I just randomly decided to stop in and one of my sales associates knew me there and she was like, I'm gonna make your day. Uh, so she really hooked it up and came in clutch and was able to get this just in time for me to film it and rebox it so I can give it this weekend. So we start off with the bag, very small, same bag, right? Part of the experience. I will say that, um, the experience shopping at Louis Vuitton during this pandemic is not as exciting as it used to be. You have to, at least here in Chicago, every single store that I went to, you have to form a line outside and you have to sanitize and you're only allowed a certain amount of people in the store at a time and you can't really touch anything. You can't really try anything on. Um, they still do a great job with customer service, but it was very much so a get in, get out kind of atmosphere uh not that they were pushing you out the door but i think self self-awareness that i knew that there was a long line of people outside and i wasn't going to sit there and ask to see every single item when i knew that i had no intention of buying them even though i was interested in them hopefully all of you are staying safe out there and we are able to go back to normal sometime soon all right, so this is a small leather good. Uh, if you haven't seen the thumbnail or the title, please make sure to let me know what you think it is down below. Again, as I stated, this was a really difficult piece to get. Um, it's still sold out online. Um, I have three different stores that are supposed to call me to find it and they've messaged me and let me know that they cannot locate it. So either they're lying uh, or this really just is a difficult item to get. So we'll start off by taking off the bow that I will later have to recreate some way, somehow to give it back to them. Uh, I know the bow is also another, not controversial subject, just trending topic in the luxury community. A lot of people who are ordering from the online website have said that they like the ribbon and they like the bow. Again, part of this whole luxury experience and the online store is not doing bows. Uh, the in-store person was. So we have our little drawer here, our bag. I feel like it's like a drum roll light. Uh, and then we have the very popular key clay, or I guess that's so dumb. People always yell at me and say that. It is the clay pouch or the key pouch. Clay is uh, French for key. Uh, and this is in the Louis Vuitton brown monogram. So this is a gift for my sister. She's turning 21 and she's not really a big Louis Vuitton fan. I'm really the one who kind of got her into it. And she was seeing that a lot of her favorite influencers uh, had this in their posts. And she started messaging me saying, you know, I really want it. So I knew that was her hint, hint, get it for me. Um, so again, I've been trying to track it down. I was able to get it. I do like it for the fact that um, it has, I like that it's all canvas, so it's gonna be pretty durable. 
for what it's meant to do. You can use this, it's also multifunctional. You can use this as a wallet. You can use it as a catch-all for your smaller, smaller items in your bag. Uh, obviously, it has the key ring in here that you can use. Now, I don't have this. Let me let me actually get the one that I have. A few moments later. Oh, okay, I'm back. So I have, as you know from my other videos, the Virgil Abloh clay, and they seem to be about the same size. I'll do a, yeah, they're actually the same size. I'll do a comparison video and review on these items because it seems to be a great starter piece, which is exactly what I'm doing with my sister. This is a perfect starter piece to kind of, you know, build your uh, Louis Vuitton obsession. And um, yeah, I think it's, uh, and yeah, I think this is a, a great introductory piece where the price is, I still think, astronomical for what you're actually getting, but it's a great introductory piece to the Louis Vuitton fashion house, uh, as well as it can be functional and not overly bearing. So I'm really excited to give this to her. Hopefully she enjoys it. I do have other little gifts. This is this kind of an add-on gift that I got for her. So I will be filming, I will be posting this video after I give this video to her. Not that she watches my videos anyways. So I will give you a quick uh, view of the inside so you're able to see it. I do believe this is Taiga leather on the inside. You have the card where it says coated fabric, cow haul leather lining. Yeah, so I believe this is the Taiga leather uh, on the inside, making it a pretty durable piece with the gold chain here. I am interested to see how this wears over time because I know that I do tend to baby my pieces and she will most definitely not baby this piece, which I'm glad I want her to use this to the best of the ability. Cost per wear would be a lot better if she uses this every day. So I'm interested to see how the gold's gonna, gonna hold up as well as the, the lining. This is made in USA. Now, I will also make another video uh, talking about the differences of where items are made for Louis Vuitton. One of the issues that I had is that I really wanted a made in France piece. Now, it could just be me. Let me know in the comment section below. But if I'm buying an item from a French fashion house, I really want it to come from Paris. I really want it to come from France. And they just couldn't locate one for me. And I have, I have my thoughts on US items. So I'll make a video and I'll go ahead and post that as well. Uh, so I'll leave these thoughts for that video. So make sure to, to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, overall, I'm just excited to give this to her. If you are new to the fashion house, make sure to check this out. Let me see how much I paid for this. I honestly was so excited that she had one in stock that I just said, I'll take it. I know I did get this after the, I think, third price increase for a coated canvas. So I paid 215 US dollars and almost $22 for sales tax here in Chicago. So I made about 236. So this item is this is gonna cost you about 240. Please keep in mind that this is $240 for an item that has barely any leather in it, and none of this is real gold. So it is um coated canvas, if you've seen from my other videos, is a just cotton textile with plastic lining on top which makes it so durable which is great for travel but I don't know if the price warrants the materials uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comment section below I'll go ahead and do a comparison between my clay and her clay as well as do an in-depth review of what my thoughts are on this video and I'll do a separate video as well talking about the different countries of origin and the manufacturers of where it's actually made. Uh, so make sure to, to come back. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I do want to give a shout out and say that we are at over 100 subscribers, which I know is not a lot of subscribers, but I made this channel over a couple months ago when I was bored during quarantine because I wanted to talk about uh, a passion of mine and kind of an obsession that my friends and family were tired of hearing about. So thank you so much for every single person who's hit the like button, subscribed, and left comments that are supporting uh, me and the channel. I really do appreciate it. It means so much to me. Uh, shout out to uh, Jose Carlos who messages me on Instagram and we've created a really great kind of friendship between our bond of luxury fashion and vintage items. Uh, Leticia Orozco, she is an OG and is a really big supporter as well. Everyone else who's given me a shout out or has been 
really supportive. You know who you are. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I make these videos just so that I can share and hopefully find other people who have common interests. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure to check me out on my Instagram at a boy named Rocky. I don't post a lot of fashion on there, but if you want to get to know me a little bit better, make sure to check me out below. Give me a follow and send me a direct message. Let me know what you think of the channel. All right, well, thank you so much, guys. Have a good day. Take care.